Does your site contain products or content requiring an age verification pop-up? Well, in this step-by-step -step video, we're going to show you how to use Opt-in Monster to create your own verification pop-up in less than 10 minutes. Now, be sure to check out the links we've included in the description, hit the subscribe button and notification bell, and participate in the conversation. With an age verification pop-up, you can cover your bases to avoid fines or penalties if minors are caught making fraudulent purchases on your site. Keep in mind that laws for checking your user's age will vary depending on where you live. Still, by adding age verification to your site, you're ensuring that your site's visitors can legally and safely view your content and that you aren't violating any laws by advertising to minors. So in this tutorial, we're going to show you two ways that you can create an age verification pop-up. In the first part of the tutorial, we're going to show you how to create a simple yes-no age verification pop-up. And then we're going to show you how to create one that uses a visitor's birth date. If you're ready, let's get started. To create a simple yes-no age verification pop-up, you'll first need to log into your Opt-in Monster account. Then click Create New Campaign. Now you'll need to choose the campaign type, so we'll click on Pop-up. Next, we'll select the basic template. Then you'll need to name your campaign, so let's call it Age Verification. Now you'll select which site you'll be using it on. All right, now just click the Start Building button. Next, you'll need to head over to the top of the editor menu and click the Yes No button. And then you'll need to click the Enable Yes No for this campaign button. Now, click on the text in the editor to pull up the editing tools. Next, you'll need to change the text to ask the visitor if they are over the age required to view the information on your site. So, for instance, you could type in something like, Are you over 21? Now, you want to delete the subtext. So to do that, click on the Subtext Trash Can icon directly in the editor and then click the Yes, I'm Sure button to continue. So since the Yes, No buttons have already been created, you can edit them to match your brand. Now to do that, just click on the button and you'll see the editing tools appear on the left. You can change the button text, color, font family, shadow, and border. To keep things simple, you want to change your Yes, No button text to be more straightforward than what we're seeing in the template so you'll need them to say yes or no. Now to do that, just click on the button that you want to edit, and in the button text field on the left, you can edit the text and use yes. Then click on the no button, and change it to say no. Now you'll need to make age verification compulsory. So to do that, you'll want to get rid of that X in the upper right corner of your pop-up. So click on the X on the pop-up, and then edit it by toggling the switch to off. Now you'll need to change your Yes and No button's action. So you can begin by clicking on the Yes button and then scroll down to the Editing menu to Action. Then in the Button Click Action drop-down menu, you'll need to change the settings from Go to a View to Close the Campaign. Now it's time to modify the No button's action. So click the No button and then scroll down to Action in the left column. Then in the Button Click Action drop-down menu, you'll need to change the setting from Close the Campaign to redirect to a URL. Now you can enter a URL that you'd like to use to redirect to, so you can send them back to Google if you like. You'll want to make sure that your pop-up is being shown to every visitor, so to do that, you'll need to back out of this menu. Now it's going to take three clicks. So the first click is a small X right next to the text where it says Editing Yes No Element. Then you'll click the arrow next to Close. And finally, you'll click the arrow next to Yes No View Styles. Now in the left-hand menu, click the Display Settings. The default settings are configured so that the same pop-up won't show for 30 days to visitors who didn't opt into your form. But this isn't an opt-in form. So you'll want to change that. Now to do that, in the If This Campaign Has Been Closed But Not Converted Show It Again drop-down menu, you'll need to change this field from After X Days to On Their Next Visit to the Site. Now your age verification campaign will show to every visitor each time that they visit your site, which is exactly how you want it to be configured. Since you'll need to verify your visitor's age, it's best to have your pop-up to display immediately. So at the top of the editor menu, you'll need to click Display Rules. You want to leave the first condition as Time on Page, but change the field next to it from Is At Least to Immediate. Now you can change this if there are only certain pages on your site that are age-restricted. To do that, leave the option Current URL Path as it is and change the field to Is Any Page to Exactly Matches. Then you'll need to enter the URL of the age-restricted page on the site. 
If you need to add more pages, click the And button and then recreate the display rule to restrict entire sections of a website by changing Is Any Page to Contains. Now you can enter part of the URL slug that you want to be included in the age verification. So, for example, if all of your blog posts start with the URL path mysite.com forward slash blog, then you could add the term blog in the field next to contains. Then any URL that contains the term blog will display your age verification pop up. Awesome. Now you're almost finished. All you need to do is click save and publish. Now we're going to look at the second method that you can use to verify age by having visitors submit their birth date. Now to do this, log into your Optin Monster account, and like before, you'll need to create a pop-up campaign. But this time, you'll choose the Canvas template. You can locate this template quickly by typing Canvas into the search bar and then clicking the Use Template button. Then you'll need to name the campaign. We'll call it Age Verification again. And then you'll need to assign it to a website. Then you'll click the Start Building button. Now, the first thing you'll want to do is delete the X close button for this template like we did earlier. Then you'll slide the toggle switch to off right next to the display close button option. Now go to the top of your editor and click add block. In the left hand menu, you'll see various block element options. So just scroll down till you locate HTML. Now you need to click on the block and drag and drop it into your editor screen. Then you'll see the editing HTML element box. So you'll delete the code that's currently there and replace it with our HTML code. Now don't worry, we've done all the coding for you, so all you need to do is use the HTML and JavaScript codes that we have in our written tutorial. We'll leave a link in the description so you can easily find them. All right, great. Now your birthday input fields have been styled, so you'll need to scroll down a little and copy and paste the JavaScript code into the code box in the editor. Now there's really only one section of this piece of code that you need to know how to edit. And that's where you can change the 18 to 21 or any age, and that depends on your site's product content and local laws. This will change the pop up to allow 21 and older people to enter rather than those who are 18 and older as it is now. All right, terrific. Now you need to clean up the design to fit your brand. Of course, you can edit all this to create the look that you want. You can delete any excess element blocks from your campaign by using the trash can icon directly in the editor. And once we've done that, your campaign's going to look pretty plain. So, to fix that, we're going to change the background color. So, click on the background of the campaign to pull up the editing tools. Then you'll locate your background color, and you'll change the color code to these six zeros to create a black background, and that will bring out the text, Please confirm your date of birth. You couldn't see it before because the text was white. Now, we've created an advanced age verification pop-up that allows us to insert your visitor's date of birth. If they aren't old enough to visit your site, then they'll get the message, sorry, you're not allowed to enter. Oh, and again, don't forget to hit that save and publish button. All right, now why not give this a try and let us know how it works out for you. Now, if you'd like to learn more tips, tricks, and techniques about our product, Monster Insights, then be sure to watch one of the videos on your screen now.